Good morning guys, yesterday evening the club was really crazy, let's just not talk about it. Today is Sunday, I'm not sure if I will head to the studio or not, it really depends on what will happen today with the special track. In my opinion it's all done, but you never know. So first of all, coffee to wake up. Whoa, I don't know what happened in here, but it seems like Vanessa bought a lot of coffee. First up, checking my emails. Let's hope that I don't have to do any changes on this other track. So far, no emails concerning that track, but the day just started, so there is still a chance that they will complain about something. I've just checked my track submits account and I got so many submissions. Let's just do the next edition of track submits. first track is by Ishvar, his artist name is Zero, he started a month ago with producing and his first track is called 5-5, Five Five. so let's give it a listen and give him some feedback. <laughs> issues with this track I mean he just started a month ago and for that time it's already great usually most people need a lot more time just to learn the program I would say um, the thing that bothers me the most in this track is that there's kind of too much going on it's not that there are too many melodies or elements it's just that they all try especially the lead synthesizers to be the main thing and when you're mixing a track like this, you really have to decide to have one main melody and one main synthesizer and the rest should just try to support it. Other than that, it's already heading into the right direction. He also asked me how to make the drop hit harder and usually 0 dB is the loudest you can go right after the drop. And by having more contrast, you will make the hit when everything comes back in together at least appear a lot harder than it actually is. So try to have less elements in the break, especially at the end of the break, right before the drop. Try to get rid of the sub layers, of the sub basses, so that when the bass and the kick hit again it just appears much fuller and much more energetic than it actually is. You could try using the right reverb to make the things a little bit fuller or trying to use chorus on certain elements to make them appear a bit thicker than they actually are. But if you've just started a month ago, just keep on doing tracks, you will get a lot better. This is probably the most fun part when you're just starting out at the beginning. Everything goes really fast. I can bet you that since you sent me the email, you already got a lot better. I already really quick listened into the next track. It is by Max Pros. He's from Austria. And the track is really unique, it sounds really good, the mixing is really fine, well, let me play it to you. This one is definitely really good, it is uplifting, it has a cheerful, nice melody that really gets you in a good mood. There is really not 
anything I could complain about. The, the build-ups are nice, the energy is there. Um, it also feels complete, but I think as a vocal track this would be a really big track. So Max really tried to get vocals for this one. I think if you place them in the break and then maybe some cut out vocals in the drop part, you will have a really amazing track that should have no problems in getting signed to a label. I had to listen to it a second time, it's a really beautiful track. What I love the most about it that the style is a bit different than all of the other things I hear at the moment. It is really unique but still good and that's the best thing you can have. Vanessa got yesterday this new Windows computer. I tried yesterday evening to set it up, it didn't really work. So now I'm giving it another try. <music> Guys, honestly, I'm so sorry for all of the people that are using a Windows computer. I know I said yesterday it can't be that bad with Windows 10. I think now with the newest Windows update they're really close to Mac. So this should be the biggest problem. But it's actually pretty annoying. Everything takes a lot longer than with a Mac. It's totally counterintuitive. The system is slow and it doesn't really know if it wants to be a program for a tablet or for a computer. It's kind of stuck in between and it's not really something for a casual use and also not for professional use. So if you really want to work, just get a Mac. I'm now preparing a bit of food for tonight. We're invited to a dinner. I spilled half of the milk, but it's, but it's not too bad. I've done way worse to this kitchen. I'm all done here in the kitchen. I now just got a phone call that I need to do a couple of changes on this track. So now I really need to hurry up, head to the studio and try to get it done before the dinner tonight. So I'm already putting on my fine shoes for tonight to save a little bit of time. Vanessa is also all ready. Are you ready? Yes, please. Do you ready? I didn't really have a lot of choices with my shirts. That's the only one that I don't have to iron. So what else? And of course I will need and of course I will need my laptop to change a couple of things on this track. Okay, all of the food in the car, the laptop as well. That's not a good combination probably. It's raining a little bit. It's getting already a bit dark outside. Heading to the studio. So far, so good. Okay, I really only have a couple of minutes here. I have to change one little thing, and I can only do it here in the studio because it has something to do with the relationship between the kick and the bass. I need to re EQ the bass. So this here was way too high, it needs to be around 55 hertz. This little mistake took away all of the punch in the low end of the track. I will now bounce it out, put it into my Dropbox, send it to these guys and I hope that's it with it. I really don't want to work anymore on it. Okay, all done. This was quite quick. Let's hurry up. Vanessa's waiting outside in the car. finally arrived. Tonight is another holiday which involves a lot of drinking of wine and having really good food for probably the next couple of hours. We're back from the dinner. It's now 1.20. Um, let's do one last track for today. The dinner was by the way really nice. We had three courses. I'm super full. And I didn't drink anything, I had to drive, unfortunately. I need my headphones. Okay, so let's listen to Malif's Benedict Amen featuring Emily, The Rules. 
It's a remix of Malif and it already sounded pretty good listening to it over the laptop. Let's press play. Feeling clever, I won't measure and neither should you. Nothing I can complain about. The mixing is really nice. The arrangement is really nice. The vocals are really nice. There is a lot of contrast in the track. You have the breaks with the piano and the vocals. Then this clubby part right after the drop. Really nice. Really good clubby vocal track. I think I will also include it into my next mixtape if Malif is so nice to send me the download file for this track. I would go so far to say this is so far the best track on track submits. Really great job. But now it's really time to get some sleep. Tomorrow is a holiday here in Germany. So I'm not really sure if I will go to the studio or just do something fun. We will see tomorrow. I also spilled a bit of milk onto my tripod. That's another one of these vlog casualties. 